Hey guys, Warzide back for another part of Pokemon Silver. And last time we reached Blackthorn City, which is the final city in Johto. And isn't that ironic? We came through the ice path, so we are a hot shot. Um, in this house, there is a trade. She wants a female Dragonair for her Rhydon. Which is not the best idea, unless you're going for like getting all the trades in the game. But getting a female Dragonair is hard enough. Not worth trading it away. Uh, your Pokemon, Poke, Pokemon Center and Pokemart are right here, right next to each other. This is the first Pokemart and the only one in Johto that sells Ultra Balls. So if you're into having the nice Pokeballs to use, there you have it. Uh, this is actually the move deleter's house. Go in the door! So he can make your Pokemon forget HM moves you don't want. So, if that's an issue. And there's the sign for his house. Uh, you are of no importance. I believe, I don't think anything happens in that house. Um, up here is the gym, but it's going to be blocked until you finish the rocket incident, so. Uh, and if you surf up here, you'll encounter the entrance to the dragon's den, but that will be blocked off until you finish the gym. So, you can't do anything there. Uh, this guy is, this is where the once a week sibling for Saturday, I think, is. And I think he gives you the spell tag, which powers up ghost moves. Um, down here is Route 45, which has a lot of new Pokemon, which I don't want to cover right now. Not until after. So, it is off. Whoops, dead words at the top. It is off. It's not to Ecritic City. In fact, we are going to go to Goldenrod City and take on some Rocket Grunts. And, well, we gotta heal because Delibird's obviously dead. And, hopefully we can do this fairly easily. I'm going to try to keep this video at around 15 minutes, but... Can't guarantee you anything if I get stuck somewhere, because I'm not gonna, like, be cautious so I don't go over 15 minutes. I just don't think 20-minute parts are gonna be that attractive to most people, so... At least not when I'm trying to get... And that lady says something funny, but I don't know it's time. And Delibird's up front, right? Yes, she is. Let's go. You. And it's rocket music and evil person battle music. Dirty bird. Oh no, you're trying to scare my Santa bird. And that might hurt if it hits us, so we should try to avoid getting hit with Hyper Fang. Which means I'm switching out. Go Sudowoodo! Do it Sudowoodo! Dodge that Hyper Fang, that's right. Oh no, you're already faster and you're still trying to slow me down AGAIN! You're not very smart, are you? And Deli Bird's level 23. Unfortunately, unlike Giraffe Rig, Deli Bird doesn't have an advantage over against most of these guys in here. And there's my dog barking, so I'm gonna locate this Raticate because my mom's probably home. Locate this Raticate, and I'll be back. What? Strength. And I'll be back as soon as... Yeah, well. Experience quick. Doesn't sound like she's here yet, but Riley's still barking. So I'm gonna go wait till she gets inside. Okay, that was kind of embarrassing, but whatever. We were fighting rockets, so... 
Let's not be embarrassed, otherwise we're gonna get our butts kicked. And... Well, I'll amuse you, all right. You're going down. Wish there was something interesting about repetitive rocket grunts, but there's not. Oh no, my defense went down. I'm so scared. I see wind. Yeah. I'm sorry, that was unnecessary. Ow, oh, poison sting. Ow, oh, poison. Not being sarcastic. I should switch Delivered out. I shouldn't subject her to this. Oh, come on, Dilly Bird. Alright. You're getting out of there. Go to Ref Rig. Oh, nuts. Hate it when I switch into a dark attack. A Ref Rig. Crap amount of experience. And we're gonna switch Nelly Bird out of the front. And we'll put Giraffe Rig there. At least for that one level. The thing about repetitive battles is we probably won't get hit too hard by the poison. And it's not like Nelly Bird's gonna be too good against the Pokemon in here, so. Rattata. Wow. I'm impressed. Not. And great. Do you have five Rattata? I think you do. I'm going to have to hit you through the, through the game screen. You are going to get punched in the face for having five Rattata if you do. Moment of truth. If you have three Rattata out of five and you've used them all in a row, you definitely have five Rattata. I'm going to punch you. I'm feeling violent towards you right now because I don't want to fight Rattata. I want to fight something substantial, not crappy. Deli Bird, that's pathetic. You got to level off Rattata. And it's after the seventh badge. That's pathetic. Angry at Rattata. I don't know why I'm suddenly angry at Rattata, but I am. And... Bleh. I'm trying to keep it down to 15 minutes, but you having five Rattata that each require one move to kill... ...is boring. Definitely more so than you. Because our poison our poison damage gets reset after every battle, so. We probably won't get hit one more than once or twice each time. And wow. You're going down. Just a little video strangeness there. Don't know if it'll come through in the recording, but probably. Oh man. Your referee kill yes. Why was I wondering? I killed the last one easily. And that's three out of four rocket grunts on this floor. Let's keep going. Faster, faster, faster. Yeah, Red owned you. No, you're not. If you keep getting owned by little kids, you're not making a comeback. When will Team Rocket learn that? 
I mean, technically, they've been back three generations in a row. They've come back every generation except for Gen 5. But then again, we never know. We might go back to Kanto again for more Gen 5. Which I definitely don't want to happen. Because that would be dumb. Because we don't need to go to Kanto anymore. I think they've overdone it with four generations in a row being in Kanto. At least part of the time. And a, ooh, a mock. Mock. And can we one shot a mock? Not even close. Yeah, harden while I'm using confusion. That's smart. I still don't get why a giant blob of sludge can harden itself. That never really made sense to me. Oh, that wasn't a level, Deli Bird? That's disappointing. What do you mean, cute? I'm setting my Chimera Giraffe or my Chimera Giraffe on you. Fight you. You've been given, you've been given strict orders to crush me. What happens when you don't fulfill those orders? And guffing. That experience bar is going to be full any moment now. Maybe with this cuffing. Yes, with this cuffing. Approving of those stats. And Deadly Bird's experience bar was full as well. Hmm. Speed is actually not too bad. Considering. Deadly Bird, you stay in the back because you're poisoned. I think we'll try to get one bat. Oh, you missed! Pseudo Odo. Oh, what? Come on! Pseudo Odo. Hit! Thank you! Drop rocks. Drop rocks on that bat's head. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Grimer, bring it on. Bring it on. Slowly dig it around. Ah, oh, crap. Please hit it, Zuto. Please. No, crap. We are in for a tough time here. We can't hit it with this one. We're going to have to figure out something else. Come on, please, Sudo Odo. Thank you. Good. Do, 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 do. Critical hit to boot. Thank you. Stupid Grimer. I hate evasiveness raising moves. But then again, who plays Pokemon and doesn't hate those moves? At least not when they're used against them. Because, I mean, I love double team spamming if I get a chance. Because it's fun. Just to watch them miss every single time. And now I'm missing every single time, even though only the Grimer raised its face in this. Okay, so I think we have time for one more. But I think I'm going to be selective about which one it is. I, well, I don't remember if... The, why is it not... Yeah, I want Sudo to take out this guy. Because I... Well, let's just say I had to do this part of the tower earlier in a recording that didn't work out so well. Because I tried a different recording style that I didn't like. But I knew this guy had a bunch of Magnemite. So we want Sudo to take out, take them out before he or she runs out of their experience to the next level. In which case, we'll go to Arbok. And I, I don't remember what the other guy has. So probably something just as annoying as that Grimer. 
Even though that was a lot less annoying than it could have been. Sorry, I bumped the mic there. And why you I'm pretty sure you Well Is it possible to lock on to an underground target? And if so, with what? I would think it would be possible, but I guess Pokemon Logic says no. You're underground, so I can't do anything to you. And there you go. And that almost gives us a level. And Scientist Mark was defeated. 2700, nice. So let's end checking our money. 13,000. So we're almost halfway there. And seven badges. I haven't shown you guys that in a long time. Alright, so that's the end of that part. Hopefully, I kept it down fairly low this time. Because I don't have anything to cut out. Because I just paused the recording. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for hopefully the, finish of the finishing of the actual tower. So see you then.